Welcome to a new episode of my series about accessing hardware from a Qt GUI. In today's video I will show you how to use a Qt timer for reading a button's state and updating my UI according to the button state. Therefore I have the following setup. This is my CP2112 USB to UART, I2C and GPIO bridge. And to I open 5 I have connected this button here. So let's test the hardware setup. So if I use GPIO get, GPIO chip 0, button number, or I open 5, I will get a 0 and if I press the button I will get a 1. So the hardware setup is already working. And my goal now is I have a GUI to control the onboard LEDs of this expander and I want to add a function to display the state of the button and therefore I will use a QT timer to read in the state of the button in a fixed interval. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so here you can see my GUI. So here I have a selector for the GPIO chip I want to use and down here I have two checkboxes for controlling the LEDs. And I will add a new checkbox here. Let's do this right now. And this checkbox will indicate the button state. So if the checkbox here is checked, the button is pressed. If it's not checked, the button is not pressed. And here in the object's name section, I will call this my button. Okay. So let me show you the class I'm using for handling the, um, or interfacing the GPIO chip. I call this class GPIO. And in here I have added the method getButton and over this method I can read in the current button state. Let's take a look at the source code. So here I have an init function which will initialize my GPIO chip for operation. And here I have added this code here which will initialize GPIO pin number 5 as an input. And down here I have this getButton method which basically just returns the current button state and that's it as a boolean variable. Okay, so now let's go to the main window.h file which is the class containing my widget application I'm using here. The first thing I will do is I will include QTimer because I will need a QTimer for calling a callback function in a fixed interval. And here in my private variables um, section I will add a new pointer from the class QTimer and I will call it my timer. So this is the pointer to my QTimer I want to use. And the second thing I have to do here is I will add a new private slot. I will this will be a void function. I will call update button and this will read in the button state and update the UI. Okay so now let's switch switch to the main window.cpp file here. Here in the constructor I will do the following. The first thing I will do is I will disable um, clicking on my button because normally I can click a checkbox but in this case I just want to display the button state and it wouldn't make sense to click this button so I will disable it here in the constructor and then I will set up my queue timer. So the first thing I need is I have to allocate memory for a new object from the type QTimer and I can do this with new. So I want to have a new QTimer and here I have to give the parent which is this. So this is a pointer to the current um, object. So this is okay here. And the next thing I have to do is now I have my timer. Now I have to connect the timer to a callback function. And I can do this with the connect function. So the first argument here is the sender from a special event. This is my timer. The second one is the signal I want to connect to or which should trigger the callback function. And this is QTimer timeout. So if uh, yeah, the specified time expires. The next one is the context my callback function will be called and once again this is the this pointer. And the last argument here is the slot or the callback function which, which will be triggered by the signal and this will be main window update button. Okay and now I will use the start method of the queue timer 
to start the timer and I will also set the time out in milliseconds here and I will use 250 milliseconds. Okay, here in the constructor I have dynamically allocate memory, so here in the destructor I have to delete my timer. Okay, and the last thing which I have to do now is I have to write the callback function here. So therefore, let's add the definition here in this file and this callback function is extremely simple. So all I will do here, my button set checked, I will set set checked and I will set it to cp2112 and here I will call the function get button and this will read out the button and it will set the checkbox to the corresponding value. Okay, so let me try to build this program. Save all. Okay, building works. So now let's try it and I will switch on my camera again. So let's run it. First thing I have to do is I have to select my GPIO chip. So the LEDs are still working. The button is not pressed. Now let me press the button. Hey, and now you can see a checkbox appearing here. And if I release the button again, the checkbox is unchecked again. Okay, cool. So this is how to use Q timers to monitor the a state of a button and updating the GUI according to it. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.